Hi, Buenas Luis with Louise McCare, and I'm back today to do coasters. It's been a little while, and truth be told, on my little trip to the Outer Banks and coming back, I sold all my stuff, and I have not one coaster left. So I have to get work and make some making coasters again. And even one of my friends that I promised a set of coasters to for Christmas that hasn't picked them up yet, I have to make more because I'm out. I know, these are real good problems to have, right? <laughs> oh, God. I think, I think I sold 17 sets. So, yeah, really cool. Plus, plus my wine festival also sold. Yeah, this is a beauty. I'm glad it finally found a forever home. So I'm really happy about all that. So we're back in business for coasters. And also, I have some plans for some other things coming up. I've got another tray I want to do. I've got a Lazy Susan that I got from I I Ikea that I want to try. And I've got, I've got other things planned. So I've got lots of stuff in the hopper here. So this is going to be a test palette. I have not tried these colors together yet. So I'm going to give them a whirl. So what I have here is uh, Amsterdam's um, bluish green with some iridescent silver in there. Now this is a different one. This is Arteza's uh, pearl. Uh, pastel green with Prism Pores Fandango. This is my Adeoxazine Purple from Golden. This is my Nicolazzo Gold by Golden. And this is 24 Karat Gold Extreme Sheen by Deco Art. So there's my consistency. What I'm going to try using here is some of my scrap paint. I just strained it today. It's not exactly white slightly gray. It's a soft gray, but I think with this color palette, it won't be at all noticeable because it's all going to get covered up anyway. So yeah, I'm going to uh, lay down my, my uh, pillow, get the colors going, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're on coaster number three. For any new people out there, if you get a lot of air bubbles, one of the things you can do is just drop your piece down with some kind of force and that helps literally push all the air bubbles straight up out of the paint. Okay, first color is my blue combination, which is the blue, the Amsterdam's bluish green, and some Golden's iridescent silver. I'm going to use a lot of this stuff up. I'm going to my intention is to try to run these colors out as much as I can and then make more. Because I find if I wait too long and have these colors sit around for too long, I just can't use them anymore because they get too stiff. Now the green is hardly showing up, so I gotta maybe lay a little more down. Okay. Saw the purple too. Oh, that was a big honking bite of purple. <laughs> Holy cats. I think we'll go with that and leave it. All right. Nicolazzo gold and then my gold. I'm going to go a little less on the gold this time. My last one was a little too heavy. So drizzle, 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 drizzle. Kind of a patchwork. Good enough. Now my cell activator. This has been working like a champ. If you're interested, it's video 141, how I mix my cell activator with American Floatrol. And when I discovered this a few months ago, I have really not gone back to the Australian I've got sitting in my cabinet doing nothing. And I'm gonna have to use it up. That's how 
I feel about this this recipe. It works. Not the best blow. Every single pour is different. The blow is so important. I mean, not my best blow. However, look at the cells. That's with my American Floatrol cell activator. And in my video, I show how I mix it, what my ratios are, what the consistency should look like. So, I mean, aside from feeling it, it's pretty much there, all the information. And I try to be as upfront and forthright with all that I learn so that you can benefit. Because I like doing this and I like helping people. Because I've seen so many other videos myself that I feel like giving back is a good thing. All right. Now look at the cell activator in the middle. Came back like a champ. You've seen me before where it's taking a little extra effort to get it going, but fresh cell activator works great. Okay, let's give it a spin. Dead nut center, perfecto. I love the purple that's coming out. And I'm not a purple fan, but these colors are working together. I was debating between a turquoise or a or the greenish blue by Amsterdam. And I'm glad I went with this color. It just looks so pretty. Although maybe I'll try turquoise. All right. Okay, in prior, prior videos I've shown that if I have a corner I don't like, I start with that corner and the spin because the jerk of the centrifugal force is going to get that first. Because you pull the wheel back and then pull it down and it gets that little bit of a jerk. Even though you don't see it. Yeah, it's already gone off. I mean, everything's spread as well, but that one corner is going to be the first to go with the jerk on it. With the jerk. Do the herky jerky. Wow. Holy cats. I mentioned in prior videos too, when I pull the edges, I pull out and down because the house paint is tacky and it wants to spring back. Out and down and you don't do it fast you just let let it break on its own so let me just get that one corner off and I'm gonna be done Wow I love dreaming up color combinations <laughs> And I'll tell you what, not every day it works. I've had day, little, literally a days where I'll be trying one color and another color and you know, they should work together and they just don't come out right. This one's working. Now, aside from a couple bubbles I gotta get rid of, 
All I do for that is I dip my toothpick into the uh, white spot or gray spot in this case, and I just pull it up. Sometimes it comes out real nice and clean and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe I can just spin those off. So let me get this one out of here. That's a honker. Here's an air bubble coming up. Mm, shouldn't need much. A little more. Okay, this is it. This is the beautiful one. Oh, yes. One more spin just to get that little, little piece off. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. 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 It was funny when we were doing puzzles in the Outer Banks. Every time, it was like a thousand piece puzzle. Every time somebody would get a puzzle piece, They'd, they would let out a rejoicing, yes, oh, like that. It was so funny. But that's how I feel about this one. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Here she is. Not too shabby. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for joining me today. Here are the four coasters. Hope you enjoyed the video and all of my gabbing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get all my latest tutorials. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time.